Listening to the forest. Know the ways of the ones who take care of you so that you may take care of them. It was dark in there, too dark, and we wanted to hear directly from the hemlocks in the shadowy mausoleum their groves were becoming. Like a council of elders, we walked in the groves a long time listening. Trees talk to each other, we know that now. Root sensitive, sending out chemical messages, theirs is an animate language not in our alphabet, and they cooperate, they warn, perhaps they also grieve. Clearly, as we saw, the hemlocks were dying from infestation, also older oaks and maples now standing deadwood weakened by years of gypsy moths, winter moths, drought. The ground beneath the trees was bare. It was dark. And when we shut our eyes, listening, what we heard was not what we wanted to hear. We wanted to conserve, to preserve. Yes, the hemlocks said, do that. Cut us down. The downside, loss, the downside uncertainty, the downside heavy machinery, a skid trail. We gave it more light, Beth said. At the trailhead now, there are spreading patches of lady slippers. Further in now, blueberries, huckleberries, wild rambling strawberries, and mountain laurels reaching up from their roots, returning. We hear wood thrush, veery, tohi, tanager, oven birds, orioles, and this year, bluebirds. From the uncut woods to the patches in the quilt the forest has become, there's new life. We reseed the skid roads with red clover. Plant shadbush, dogwood, sumac, viburnum. Cut back the over-eager beach, planting mid-Atlantic trees to withstand the rising heat of a climate in crisis, loblolly, Virginia, and longleaf pines. Also tulip trees, oaks, and hickory. It takes work. It takes patience and vision, even as indigenous oak and beech and maple come back on their own. We gave them light, Beth said, as we walked the trails through a burgeoning diversity. And I, for one, hearing this tale of risky preservation bask in the sunlight of the forest's deep desire to return, to renew. Sustain the ones who sustain you, it is written, and the earth will last forever. <laughs>